Let's take a look at the function tables. Complete the table to show how the number of chairs, C, depends on the number of tables, T. And they gave us the function C equals T minus three. Okay, well when you have input and output for a function, if I have C is equal to T minus three, the input would be this number because we're gonna put that number in, we have to subtract three from it, and then we get the output, which means the answer, which would be C. Okay, you can also tell that if you, you, if you look at the example in the table, right, when they put in 11, they said 11 minus three, and that gave them the output or answer, E. So what we wanna do is follow that pattern to figure out the other numbers in our table. Okay, well, if we put in seven, that means we're putting seven in place of T. So we would say C is equal to, right, we're replacing the seven or putting seven where the T is, minus three. Okay, well seven minus three gives us four, so C or our output would have to be four. Okay, and then we wanna do the same thing for the other two missing numbers. Well, what about when we put in eight? Okay, well here, if we put eight into our pattern or our function, it would be eight minus three, right? C is equal to eight minus three. And eight minus three would give us five. So we're gonna fill in our five. And then we have one more problem to do. This one would be C is equal to nine minus three, right? Putting nine where the T is for our input. Well, nine minus three is six. So notice when they say input and output, input is the number you're putting into the, the equation and output is the answer that you get. Okay, complete the table to show the number, how the number of chairs C depends on the number of tables T. This time our function is C equals T minus seven. Okay, so just like before, we know the output is the answer we get, so C has to be our output because it's our answer when we subtract seven from T. So T would be the input number and C would have to be the output number, right? That's our answer. Okay, and of course you can check this with the example to make sure, right, when we put in 15, we get eight. Okay, well if you put in 15 for T, 15 minus seven, well 15 minus seven gives you eight, so it works. Okay, and then of course we want to get the missing numbers for all three of these. So starting with an input of t, that means we're gonna put 10 where t was. So we would say c, instead of t, we're gonna put 10, and our function is telling us to subtract seven from that. Okay, well 10 minus seven is three. Okay, so our out would be three. Let's try our next number, 12. Okay, well when we put 12 in for t, that would be 12 minus seven. Okay, well 12 minus seven gives us five, so we get out five. And then we have one more, we have to put in 14 for t. Okay, well 14 minus seven gives us seven, so we get out seven. Okay, this time they're giving us the function C equals T plus four. Okay, and if you look at this, remember in is the number that you're putting into the function and out is always the answer you get. So out has to be our C since that's the answer or the number by itself. And in would have to be T since we're gonna plug in numbers for T. 
And of course, you can always use your example to check this, right? If I put in five for t, that would be five plus four, and that gives me an answer of nine, meaning I get out nine for c. And you can see that fits with the pattern the way that we set it up. And then I wanna do the same thing and follow that pattern for the next three numbers in my table. So the first one is telling me to put seven in for t. Okay, so instead of t plus four, I'm gonna say seven plus four. Okay, well seven plus four gives me 11, or another way to say that, I get out 11 for c. For the next row in my table, I wanna put in nine for t. Okay, so I'm gonna say c instead of t plus four, I'm gonna say nine plus four. Okay, well nine plus four gives me 13, or another way to say that is I get out 13 for C. And then we have one more row in our table. We wanna know when T is 11, what do we get out for C? Okay, so C is equal to, we're gonna put in 11 in place of T. So 11 plus four, and we're just gonna add that up. 11 plus four gives us 15, or we get out 15 for C.